Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange, a leading options trading platform for cryptos. Uh, now the cryptos are also recovering along with the global markets. And today, markets open higher following the positive global cues, but throughout the day it was almost flat. And then you know there was some volatility in the late afternoon and the bank nifty has actually underperformed and bank nifty at some point of time was negative also and both yesterday as well as today and both yesterday and today the bank nifty has underperformed but while the nifty has outperformed and today Kotak bank was the worst performer and also don't know why state bank of India has fallen. So State Bank of India and Kotak Bank are the uh, two bottom most stocks whereas Reliance and ITC uh, in general FMCG so index did very very well. So today it was ITC and Reliance contributed more than 50-60 points for Nifty Rally and also Access Bank. So uh, today mid cap index has hit a fresh all-time high. So I've been saying you saying for the last few days that broader market is good. It's only the index heavyweights like TCS, Infosys, HDFC Bank, HDFC, and Reliance. So these five stocks are not performing, and these are like supposed to be uh, five of the top six or seven stocks. I don't know. So. It is the index heavyweights that is holding the market down whereas the broader markets are really looking very good. So the mid cap index hitting fresh all time high you know when US markets hit fresh uh, 52 week high and Japanese market also fresh 52 week high. So there is a sense of optimism everywhere and today also the US inflation data came it came at 4 percent while people expected 4.1 percent. So inflation you know you remember it the high was around 9 percent from 9 percent now it has come to 4 percent. So the target inflation is 2 percent. So I think it's a matter of time. So now I think tomorrow the Fed meeting is there. I think now it is a non-event. I don't think that there will be any rate hike in the Fed meeting. And not only that we can expect some dovish comments from the uh, Fed chairman also and today FIAs have turned net buyers after being net seller for the last two days and today they bought for 1677 crore that is much more than what they have sold in the last two trading sessions. So normally what happens when they are seller for a few days and one day when they turn net buyers the next day market goes up. So by that logic and tomorrow our market should go up by looking at the US markets you know as of now from now tomorrow morning 9.15 anything can happen but as of now uh, we can expect some positive market movement tomorrow. So uh, right now European markets are higher European uh, US futures are also higher and uh, looking at the open interest there was a huge unwinding in 18,600, 18,650, 18,700 call options and I really don't know most of the time option sellers are wrong in the weekly options but they are right in the monthly options and then there is a huge addition of open interest at 18,700 put option and 18,650 put option, 18,600 put option. So this shows that you know our support is being shifted for earlier from 18,500 now the support is being shifted to 18,600 that's for this week expiry. For monthly one I think the thing is intact 18,000 to 19,000 so that is a view I have taken in the beginning of this month and I think it is still continuing and uh, we have few more. Uh, the weeks that is me we have about 11 more trading sessions I think uh, the time value will help us but anytime nifty can hit all-time high we are just only one percent away from all-time high 
So, 1% is no big deal, you know. So, if uh, HDFC Bank and uh, Reliance start performing uh, 2%, then, you know, in one day, the Nifty can take all-time high. So, anyway, uh, when everybody is expecting all-time high, it may not happen. But since last time we went and then we have already corrected 200 point, now we are moving higher. Uh, I will not be surprised if Nifty has taken out all-time high in this series itself. If not in this series, 99% uh, chances are there, it will be uh, taken out in the uh, July series. So, it is time to be bullish about the markets and especially mid caps and small caps. So, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.